Welcome to another edition of Tiger Talk, uh, the Tiger Basketball Report with our head coach, Pat Scary. And coach, uh, a weekend that did not start well on Saturday with a loss to Madison, but certainly improved with wins on Monday and Tuesday against UNCW. Uh, I know you would have liked to have gone 3-0, and but 2 and one's the next best thing, isn't it? Yeah, you're right, as you added up. Yeah, tough lot. I mean, Madison, you know, uh, uh, give them credit. Um, all the games are tough this time of year, especially in our conference. You know, Matt Lewis was – he was named the Oscar Robertson National Player of the Week for that game, so 9 for 12 from 3. And, you know, we just – we couldn't uh, we couldn't stop them. So, uh, hopefully we'll do a better job next time we play them. And, um, obviously, on Monday and Tuesday, you know, we got, got Wilmington at a good time. They were coming off a pause and – um thought our best stretch of basketball was in the second half of game two. I thought we finally showed some signs of the type of team we could become. Uh, and it was good to finally, other than obviously the tough injury we've had to our captain, Juwan Gray, we finally had the rest of our pieces on, on, the, on the floor, um, you know, with, with Zane and, and, and Jason and, 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 and everyone. And, and, you know, that was, you know, we, beat, we, beat, we were fortunate to beat a very good, well-coached Wilmington team. Okay, so you you played for the first time the same opponent back to back days. Uh, I'd like to know what you did between four o'clock on Monday and one o'clock on Tuesday when you had to play the same opponent that you had just beaten. Because if you look in a lot of these uh, other conferences where teams are playing back to back, teams are getting blown out on one day one, but then turn around and blow the other team out on day two. So. I'm just curious what you did in that, you know, 20 hour period between games. Yeah. You know, right after the game, I initially thought we would come back to watch film that night. Um, and then I realized just how tired and beat up our guys were. So we didn't do that. They got treatment. We gave them food. We got them out of there. And then um, the staff, we got some subs. I paid for those Spiro. Um, I thought I, I was going to believe that. Stay- I don't believe that. Oh, you better believe it. You look at the receipts. I thought I was getting turkey. I ended up. I thought I was getting steak and cheese. Ended up with turkeys. That was been a healthy option. We watched the tape. We we kind of looked at some things that uh, Wilmington did against us, uh, you know, and that we thought we might see, and then what we needed to tweak. Um, and then I tell you, I went home. I was tired. Uh, I was tired. Uh, we come back at nine a.m. We watched a lot of film, about twenty minutes of film with our guys. Walked through some things on the court, you know, and then um. We threw it up and played. And be honest, you talked about mentality. Wilmington had the right mentality early. And I thought they did two things that hurt us early. They, uh, they changed one of their little dribble weave ball screen actions. And, and we had trouble with that. And then they were very aggressive. Um, and we call our flow game, our, our, our motion offense. We had a hard time running anything. So they did a good job taking us out of that. And I thought our guys finally adjusted um, defensively. We did a much better job of guarding the ball in the second half and, and being aggressive doing that. And then really uh, Zane made big plays. He drove the ball. He attacked downhill. He made shots. And then that got some other guys in a rhythm. Like Jason had two big, big threes. And then Victor Ulalamo had an incredible block that led to a great highlight dunk from Demetrius Mims. that gave me, gave us great energy. And you saw a great play, right? You saw a great play from Solomon and Charles and, uh, Cam Allen's defense, and then Nick. Nick, I think you know, big play late with the with the big rebound and and the big three, and then knocking down free two free throws to hold on. And and you know, you mentioned the guys down low, Solomon and and Charles. They both played extremely well in both games, and uh, I I know you've been touting Charles Thompson since the day you got him, and and we're starting to see that now. Yeah, I love him. He plays as hard as any guy I've. I've coached, you know, um, you know, we loved him when we recruited him. Brandon McDonald and I, uh, Brandon brought me to see him and I loved him and he's really worked at his shot. You know, I, I want to bring up the point when we won game one, he had a great game too. He was four for eight from the foul line. When I left the Zoom press conference, he was in his game jersey for 30 minutes after the game shooting foul shots right after the game. So it's no surprise the next night he went seven for eight, but it also tells you everything you need to know about him as, as a competitor. All right. So now we move on to this weekend where you'll be back to back again against Hofstra team that was picked to win the CAA. 
they have probably the signature win of the conference so far this year when they beat Richmond earlier this season when Richmond was in the top 25. Um, Joe Mahalik is, is out this year, um, and, and they've got an interim coach in there. What can you tell us about Hofstra that, uh, you know, you got Bowie there, and, and they, they just seem to also always have an offensive guy to step in for the offensive guys that they lose. Well, they're a great program, you know, and, and you touched on a lot of things like, you know, f- first of all, they got great guards. Jalen Ray, Tariq Coburn and Isaac Conte inside are all all conference level players. And they've added a couple of very, very good freshmen in, in um, Kevon Kramer and Green. And then we recruited the point guard, Caleb Burgess. So they're really good. They play the zone. They spread you out. They can take you one on one. They score from the three line and then off the dribble and then the guy inside. But Mike Ferrelli is, is the interim head coach. Um, I tried to hire Mike uh, when I ended up hiring Luke Murray a few years ago, so I have great respect for Mike. And as you know, Joe and I are close friends, so you know this has been hard. You know, as uh, we have been texting and had a couple conversations. I hope our conference does the right thing and names the CAA Coach of the Year award uh, in, a, in after Joe Mahalik. That that's what I think we we should do. They had the best, he was the best coach in the league last year and they had the best team. And to me, it's only right that that, that happens. So hopefully that, that'll get out there, but we're going to have to play well, you know, we're on the road. It's Hofstra. Um, got to take care of the ball. We got to prove we can do that. We've got to be aggressive defensively. We've got to be tough on the boards. They're going to try to rev their guys up and talk about that. We did a great job rebounding, but it's going to be a dog fight. And you know, we're, we're, uh, we're going to have to play at a high level. Yeah, I said Bowie. I meant Ray. Bowie's gone. But uh, thank God, yeah. thank God, Ray can go too. <laughs> if they want to bring him up, they want to send him somewhere over overseas to play right now. Go right ahead, please. Uh, have you brought up the Joe Mahalik idea to to anybody in the league? So I, I've I, I did bring it up to the conference people. This was a while ago, and I'm going to revisit it uh, this week because I kind of think it's uh, just. I mean, it's really to me, it's not much to think about. It's a no brainer. I mean, it's a no brainer. Well, this is the first conference road trip you're going to have, the first of uh, many, and uh, I, I guess your your plan you 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 play it by ear what you do after the game Saturday to get ready for Sunday. Yeah, you know we'll feed them uh, Saturday night, and, and because we're in a hotel, I hope so. Easy. Yeah, well, it depends how well we play. You know, it's like tell them you want you want the shrimp or you want the cheese sandwiches. You know, and. Um, it, it'll we will we'll do some treatment with with Paul and Andrew on our, our strength and, and training staff and ice them up and show them some film because we're in a hotel, but it's different travel. I'm I'm gonna miss having you on our trips. You're a big part of what we do, and you're always at the at film and meals and and, and scout reports. And the guys like being around you. It's 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 a it's a strange year. It's gonna be strange. Last couple of years we've had unbelievable games at at Hofstra in front of packed packed right. houses. Right. I mean, like energy in, in the building. They've done a re- have done a remarkable job with their crowds. So that's going to be uh, going to be different. We, but we got we got to bring our own juice. Right. That's the that's the year that we're having. I, I, I've been happy with our group. I, I told you for a while now, like, we've got a chance to have a good team if if we can keep practicing <laughs> so that we can get so that we can get better, you know. Yeah. Well, you know, it's not just the X's and O's this year. I guess the most important thing is negative tests. It's like negative test, and then you get into like, hey, transition the ball security because, like, what's that old saying? Like the the the, the cart can't come before the horse. You know? Right, right, right. Well, coach, we appreciate it. We'll talk to you next week, and uh, hopefully, the Tigers come back with a couple of victories from Long Island. Hey, and Spiro, last thing, just all our listeners, let's all say a prayer for Coach Diane Richardson of our women's team. She's been fighting Absolutely. her and her family this COVID battle, and. She's she's a world class person and, and 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 family person. We're all thinking of her. No question. Thank you, Coach.